So, you're the supervisor, right? Me? Yep. You're responsible for things like deadlines, productivity, and the health and safety of your workers. Yeah, I know that. And you've done a full assessment of the hazards at your workplace, created safety procedures for the repair and cleaning of your equipment. You mean guards and lockout? No, that's part of it. But first, you have to identify what equipment presents a danger and make sure those dangers are contained. Guards and lockout are just part of the solution. Okay. Take this conveyor. What are the tasks performed on it and the procedures for locking it out if it were to break? The TVC-15, it's, it's our most reliable line. It never breaks down. That's great, but it will need to be cleaned and cleaning can present the same dangers as a repair. Why don't we take a look at some of the hazards that a conveyor can present? Most conveyors begin with a loading zone. The rollers create pinch point hazards for fingers and hands if workers have to handle product in this area. Belt-driven rollers coming from the loading zone are also hazards for hands, fingers, and loose clothing. The pinch points are above and below these rollers. The transition zone and tail drum belt are the next hazards, with obvious pinch points around the drum. Load-carrying rollers support the belt, allowing product to move up the belt by supporting the weight of the product. The machine drive transfers power to the belt and must be guarded to avoid exposing hazards. Exposure to the rollers and belt from underneath the conveyor is a major hazard and must be guarded if there is the potential for contact with workers. Now that we've identified all the hazards and contained them, you can design written procedures. Steps to go through when it has to be shut down for cleaning or repairs. Uh, and that's where we talk about lockout. Correct. And that procedure needs to be written down and accessible to all workers. But there's one last thing. What's that? All workers involved must be trained on those procedures. And training is not just a quick show and tell, but substantive information on working with that machine. You know, none of this is that difficult, is it? No, it really isn't.